thank you so much for joining us on The Cafe, where you got to hang out with Australia's king of sleepwear, Peter Alexander. Catch up on his latest project, which we'll share with you a little later on. He was quite a lot of fun, Mel. He was an awful lot of fun, and he was a really, really good talker as well. We can't wait to share a very funny interview with designer Peter Alexander. So, Jesse, this is my favourite of the Peter Alexander Makona range, the new jars. What do you reckon? It's very stunning. It's quite sweet, isn't it? I'm going to give it to you Great, then. Thank you. Because you don't mind a bit of Makona, even like though you're a barista. Me at, mm. <laughs> I'm over here. And just after the break, we have a very special interview with designer and pyjama king Peter Alexander, which we didn't do in our PJs. Join us after the break and we hear more from this guy, Peter Alexander. Sweet dreams are made of the well, he is known as Australia's king of sleepwear and his garments have been loved and worn by the likes of Kylie Minogue, Selma Hayek and Lady Gaga, among many others. Peter Alexander is here in New Zealand in collaboration with Makona Coffee and we caught up with him a couple of days ago, fresh off his plane from Melbourne mm. at the beautiful Stamford Plaza here in Auckland. Peter, designer PJ's delicious coffee and helping animals. It must be good to wake up each day. That is my favourite three combination. I mean, a great jar of Makona, Peter Alexander pyjamas and helping animals. What a better way to start the day. Because when we think of your name, Peter Alexander, we think instantly Jim Jam. Yes. Jammies, PJs, call them what you like. That yes. is what you were known for. And everybody who I said when I said I was going to talk to you, they're like, oh my goodness, I'm so excited about that. I've got a pair of his pyjamas. Oh, I love the smell of his shops. I love the smell of your shops. Uh, when I said, oh, but I'm, I'm going to talk a little bit about coffee as well right. with them, they're like, oh, what's all this about? So tell us about the association. What's this all about? Well, as you said, Peter Alexander, myself, I'm famous for sleeping my way around the world. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm getting through Auckland one chick at a time um, <laughs> and a few men as well, you know. Uh, so I wanted to not only go to bed with them, wake up with them and enjoy a cup of coffee. So McCona approached me to do a collaboration where we designed some of their iconic jobs as keepsakes so we put some of my best prints around the jars and you can reuse the jars and you also get a $10 offer off on Peter Alexander and so it was all a win-win-win situation and then the animals come in because the money that they were going to pay me which was a hell of a lot I donated 100% of it to the animal charities for just justice in New Zealand 100% yes Wow, yes. generous. Yes, well, you know, um, I do love my animals. So let's talk more about the animals, because clearly you love them. Where did all that start? I did have animals as a kid. I, well, I, can't, I can't quite remember the love I had for them then. I developed my strong attachment to animals as an adult more. Uh, I think I just love the unconditional love. Um, there was something about nurturing. Perhaps because I didn't have my own kids, um, I started treating my dogs as kids, which, you know, it's okay. There's no crime against it. You're not the only person who does <laughs> no. that, Peter. Do you call them your fur babies? No, but person. no, I'm not that person, but they do sleep on the bed with me. Not okay. in the bed, but on the bed. Um, and I, they just give me such such joy. And, and uh, Penny, who was my brand ambassador, who you see on my bags, and the da Dachshund, she passed on. And when she passed on, I never paid her for her image. So I thought the only, the best way to pay her is to pay back her kind. So every, every year we raise money for an, an animal charities. It's Poor Justice in New Zealand and RSPCA in Australia. And Makona came along and we, created this wonderful thing where everybody wins. The natural synergy really isn't yes. it? Because Penny was she was your she was your earlier dog. Yes, You've got correct. Two... I've got now Betty and Butch. Yes. It's funny because you look at your jammies and there's always somewhere there's like a little Daxi. dash and yeah. I always wondered what that was about. Yes, that was just about me thinking my dog's the best in the world and being able to, you know, stick it everywhere. And, you know? and why not? <laughs> why not? Can. It's like one, one of the perks of being Peter Alexander is I have underpants with Peter Alexander written around the elastic. I mean, you know. There's nothing like having your undies on your... It's like when you're a kid and you've got your, like, your name and your yeah, waistband. Yeah, I know, but a I know. Better. It's so weird, you know. It, it's one, one of the little perks. So where did it all begin for you? Pyjamas. Well... You know, I started 30 years ago when I was in my 20s and it was, people often ask me why pyjamas and I say, well, you know, I slept around a lot and thought, God, everyone wears such crappy pyjamas. But that's <laughs> not really the case. I was actually a very good boy. Um, the reason is I just saw a gap in the market and had had an idea and just thought I'll do, do it. And it was very crazy that at the time because there was no fashion pyjamas at that stage. So everyone told me I couldn't, I shouldn't, don't, but I did. And 
and uh, now I look back and it's amazing. I've got you know over a hundred stores around Australia and New Zealand, and uh, you know I'm just going to keep sailing the Peter Alexander boat around the world till I'm totally exhausted and slept with everybody. <laughs> <laughs> he is such a fascinating man. We'll have more from Peter Alexander very soon. OK, back to our catch up with Peter Alexander. Now, I asked him where his design inspiration came from. All over the place. Um, I can be sort of like even today, I'll look at you and say, oh, my God, I love the black and white, white and black stripe. And then I'll in my brain, I'll turn that around to do, you know, a pant in one and a shirt in the other. So I'm constantly my eyes are constantly open, whether it's a television show, I'll freeze frame something because I like the wall wallpaper in the background of the show or walking down the street, I'll see someone who's got a really cute dog. And so it's it's not a matter of fashion, just a matter of life yeah. and keeping your eyes open. I'm sort of open to 24 hours a day. So I take, two things, I, I take two things out of that. I yes. take, okay, next time we see this, a stripe in anything. <laughs> you want a commission? It does. It's me. No, because once I stick my logo on it, the dog, it's mine. Sorry. <laughs> and also, when you say you freeze frame TV shows, yes. did you freeze frame The Real Housewives of Auckland? I'm obsessed you... with The Real Housewives of Auckland. Oh, obsessed with it. It is the, the best one of the franchise. I mean, they're all nuts. <laughs> I love it. I absolutely love it. And I'm just, the first thing that I landed in Auckland today, I was like, oh my God, they're somewhere here in their natural environment. I want to go to Parnell and just sort of walk around and see if I can spot one. So we're going to see some, like, desperate housewife-inspired pyjamas? <laughs> yes. Like Angela Stonecamp? Actually, yes, yeah, some get, get some real, real pyjamas. Some real pyjamas, yeah. Yeah, but we should get back to talking about Makaida, shouldn't we? <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Where's our cups? That's what we need. Well, think we need, well, you don't, these coffee jars are keepable and you can do so much stuff with them. So um, I'm just loving the fact that you don't chuck things away anymore. We're in such a, a thing in society where everything gets thrown away. And with the Makona's iconic jar, it's really nice to be able to reuse it. And that's also why I love putting my, my name to it. It's a positive thing. Just one final question for you sure. too. What's on trend, Jami wise for us? What's on trend? Well, coming into Christmas, it's all a bit about the sparkle. So, uh, you know, I think any, anything that's sort of got Christmas, I've embraced the daggy Chris, Christmas trends. So yes. I love a daggy Christmas classic Santa or reindeer or red spots or anything like that. I'm like, go, go, go for it. Bring out your inner dag. Well, it's your night, night attire. This is where you can do Absolutely. it. Absolutely. I would. To me, it's about getting your inner child back into your life because as as we're adults, we put on a lot of armour and, you know, we go to work and we dress a certain way and we have to act a certain way. Having pyjamas, you can actually throw that out and say, this is who I re re really am, like a big... Can I say the word dickhead? Yeah. Oh, big dick, dickhead, and I'm proud. <laughs> <laughs> I've got your Christmas present. We sort of. So you know any dickheads. <laughs> And, you know, and I just wanted to say, on behalf of men that love your PJs, thanks Thank for you. making men's PJs yes. sexy again. Oh, your pleasure. I'm That's sure you, you look extra hot in I mean, you sent me that Instagram shot, shot of you. Thank I told you. you not to do that. Thank oh. you very, very much. <laughs> Gotta stop that. <laughs> still waiting for my return. <laughs> Yeah, and still waiting, actually, Peter, if you're watching. Um, he is so much fun, isn't he? And very clever, too. Yeah, yeah. bring out your inner dag. <laughs> That's right. I love it. I'm, I'm looking forward to my Christmas present, too. We could have talked to Peter for hours. Yeah. Peter Alexander's exclusive Makona Wake Up and Style collection consists of four amazing designs, all of which are available for a very limited time from leading supermarkets. And tomorrow on the show, Amish Dodd will be catching up with Peter in his home design segment. <laughs> So yesterday, you, we played you our Mike and my interview with the amazing Peter Alexander. And Hamish, you also got to hang out with him to talk about his latest design project to share uh, you know, what pyjamas and instant coffee have in common. That's exactly right. So I popped into the Stanford Plaza. I got to meet the king of pyjamas himself, Peter Alexander, and hear a bit about what he's going to do with his collaboration with Marcona. So take a look at this. Well, McConaug approached me, they had a, an amazing idea to reinvent their jars, which are so iconic, and they wanted to make them extra reusable and have a bit of a fashion flair. Um, I'm an uh, avid fan of the brand, and I get, uh, I get approached a lot to do different things. Um, I say no to most of them, but this one, it made sense. Coffee and pyjamas go hand in hand. <laughs> McCone is such a, a well-known and respected and loved brand, so is Peter Alexander. Plus... Um, um, they agreed to, instead of uh, paying me for my time and uh, designs, they said we'll just give the donations straight to Poor Justice, which is uh, a passion of mine to do and anything that's got animal charities involved with it. The big question, the inspiration for the jars, there's four of them. I love all of them. Yeah. 
Where did it come from? When you think of Peter Alexander, there's certain, I mean, you firstly think of the sausage dog, which was my penny. And so the lo logo became the obvious one. And between you and me, and you, there, uh, that's my fave. Uh, <laughs> and um, then I, I decided I always do florals and animal prints and paisleys. That's just sort of the, the sort of, I suppose, stock standard Peter Alexander iconic designs. There's a print for everybody that they go, oh, that would look great in my, my house or in, in, in my kitchen. The, the key here really is upcycling. Now, upcycling is great because it's different to recycling. Yes. There's no energy required to, to repurpose the product. Yes. I think that's fantastic. It's very on trend right now. What are some of the ideas that you sort of would consider using these jars for? You can use these jars in amazing ways. I mean, I hopped on the Makona website and, and looked at all the ideas that they had. People are, are putting little cac cactuses in there and building a little plant. Other people are using it to hold pens. I'm going to use mine for dog doggy treats. Good idea. Yeah. So, I mean, there's really, you can do whatever, whatever you want with it. You can make it a coin jar. You can put other things in it. I just love the way that it, it will hang around and be use, useful. And once you start getting a se series, it looks really neat. You know, when you have it up a cupboard and all <laughs> the jars are different. I'm hoping everyone buys a lot of them so it just looks like, oh, what a wonderful neat cabinet. Peter, it's been fantastic talking to you today. And um, it's it's a beautiful concept and I love the charity angle too. Oh, beautiful. thank you. There's also another another good thing about this What have jar. you got? This jar has got a Peter Alexander. Just in time for Christmas, yep. you get $10 off. There's uh, all, all the conditions are on, on the pack, but every jar you buy, you get a little $10 gift voucher. So perfect for Christmas. Fantastic. What more could you want? I sound like an infomercial. <laughs> You know what else you could use those jars for? What? Sauerkraut. That'd be amazing for that because it's so on trend at the moment. Yeah, I agree. And the Stanford Plaza, wasn't that just a great place to do an interview? Fantastic. I loved it. But you know, the thing is, though, I wanted to go and swipe all the toiletries because you always do that and they yeah. were beautiful. He wouldn't let me. No. Why? <laughs> no, she had her handbag ready. She was ready to go. <laughs> like for laid it. all them into the yeah, handbag. Yeah. He wouldn't was, let me. Oh, fun stocking fillers for Christmas, <laughs> Mel. <laughs> okay, so um, the upcycling idea I really liked. That's right. Jump to the Makona website to check out what you can use the jars for and of course they're in store now. Nice work, thank you very much Hamish and also Peter has given us a collection of all of the jars and a $100 Peter Alexander voucher for you at home to win. Simply go to thecafe.co.nz to enter.